Hello, Chlorophyll's the name, Sims is the game. Let's get to it. This here is a weird build. I don't know if you saw it, but I did a bathroom build. It was called Midas was, My, Midas was Blessed, was it? And it was a really fancy gold bathroom. And so that's it right there, the room that's already done. And then I added onto it. And it's not like a whole house or anything. It's just like one suite. It's the master suite, I figure. I mean, it is. Anyway, so yeah, I, I add on an entire suite. There's the bathroom, uh, there's that foyer area, there's the actual bedroom area, and then there's a closet, and then there's also a balcony. So yeah, you'll see me go through all these, and this actually took me a pretty long time for not being an entire house. I mean, granted, it is kind of the size of an entire house, so you know, maybe that's why, but yeah, this took me like two and a half hours to build, and you know, I that's not counting the time I took on the bathroom, so there's that. Anyway, right here, I'm trying to figure out what to do going out to the balcony. I go through a bunch of different archways and just try to figure out which, which kind of archway I like best. I end up going with those pets one. I like how wide they are, and I, I didn't like how detailed the, the vampire ones were. So I thought about putting some there, but I was like, no, I can do something better with that wall. So yeah. And I kind of figured that this house needed to be, or house, this suite needed to be raised up. It'd be on an upper floor if it were part of a whole house. So I, I raised it up just so that, I don't know, I had that haughty feeling. I feel like I say that word wrong. I don't know how you'd say it, though. Anyway. Yeah, here I am. I'm trying to pick out a good flooring, because I wasn't sure if I wanted to use the same marble flooring outside as inside. And I end up using the one that's there right now because I, I wanted there to be more of a, I don't know, a tiled look outside. I figured maybe it'd give some more traction. Uh, but inside we just use the, the flat marble, no tile to it. I make that fireplace really big, which I think is glorious. There's, um, there's something about a giant raging fire that is just wonderful. Especially when it's in your bedroom and not, you know, out of control. Anyway. Yeah, so it's a it's a very large fireplace. It probably looked a little silly in game. I don't know how well it would work. I don't think it would work. Would it work? I don't know exactly how scaled up objects work. I feel like I don't play in game enough. But yeah, large fireplaces are fun. Oh, I spend a long time working out what wallpapers to use because I was like, I don't want to just use this, you know, gold veined marble wallpaper. And so I start going through other wallpapers just to see what you know, what the game has to offer. And I end up using, there's a stone I use, I use a blue wallpaper, like a blue gold wallpaper, and I use that, that white paneling there. And I think it's a good mixture. Uh, the blue wallpaper, actually, I use because I couldn't get the bed to match, and so I had to use a blue bed if I wanted a bed that was gold in the same way everything else is gold. So that is why I use blue and you'll see the blue come in I think uh, it's a nice bit of color I think it would have been a bit different if it wasn't blue I don't know if it's good or bad necessarily how different because like initially I wanted it to be I wanted it to be the um what's it called just just white and gold and all that but it wasn't gonna work because the beds don't come in a bunch of colors Anyway, there's that uh, cut there. I wanted to add in the curtains around the bed, and I wanted them to look supported, so I had to do a lot of movement. Um, there is a white bed of that kind, and I wanted to use that bed because it's the most expensive bed in the game. And there is a white, white bed of that kind, but the gold is more of a white gold than like a, you know, bright yellow gold like I'm using in here. So there's that. And yeah, so... I don't know if this is weird, there's like the giant white shag carpet under the bed, and then I have those two blue carpets as well. I, I don't know if that'd be weird. Maybe they just want to be extra soft when they get out of bed. You know, just be like, wow, that is a lot of padding under my feet. Because like, a shag carpet on top of a shag carpet is a lot of shag carpet. I've been thinking about buying a new rug lately. I feel like I've talked about rugs before. Rugs. Before. There we go. I can talk, I promise. I feel like I've talked about rugs before, and I have found some, it's just they're expensive. Because I need a rug for my room, or I want a rug for my room, I mean I've, ha I've been without a rug for a long time, but it would be so nice to have a rug for my room, and I found one that I think would match pretty well with my, my bedding. 
and it's it's my college bedding, not my not my like room's bedding because I have two different comforters. One is green and teal, and the other is just navy blue. So it's it, it would match the navy blue one, which means I would take it to college with me. Anyway, right here, I figured you needed a pretty sizable coffee table here because it's a pretty sizable fireplace, so anything else would have looked silly. So yeah, I put in that giant that giant coffee table, and now I think we get on to me trying to figure out the lights for this room because I didn't want to use the subtle saucers. They're nice, but I feel like they cast pretty, I don't know, uniform lighting? It's just a different kind of light, and I don't want to go in-game and like try to edit it to make it exactly how I feel, so I prefer to use just different lights and I think it, it casts good shadows and it's warm and it brings out the gold in a good way. I, I do still use the subtle saucer around the room. Um, I don't know if I use it too much. I just didn't want it to be dark in here necessarily so there's that. So I do still use them. It's just I don't only use them which I think is important. Yeah, Let's see. Uh, in this room it's actually pretty fancy. There's a, a kitchen and like a wine cabinet because, uh, you know, if you're this rich, why, you know, bother to go down to the kitchen for a midnight snack? Get your, you know, 20 butlers to get it. I put those gold carts everywhere because I figure someone who lives here would have about 20 butlers. I wish you could have more than one butler in the game, although, I don't know, that'd get, that'd get glitchy fast. And, I don't know, I've only really used butlers once, and they didn't actually, I, I mean... Here's the thing, my sims by that point were really good at cooking and like most of the things had been upgraded so that they didn't like break or need cleaning and so it was just kind of, you know, what is my butler doing right now? Also my butler didn't actually make good food so my sims kept getting grossed out because they had the uh, refined palate uh, quirk and so it was like, well this is a waste of money and time. So yeah, I don't, I don't know how well a butler would work. Can you... Can you, are, are there like levels of butlers? Like, can you train at your butler? I feel like that's more of a restaurant thing or like a vet clinic thing. I don't think you can do it with butlers. Anyway, uh, back here I put in a bookshelf. I thought about doing a secret room back there, but then it kept getting really complicated. And so I was like, no, this house can have a secret room elsewhere or maybe I'll add it in later. You know, I don't know if I'll build more of this house necessarily. I might if, you know, I I think it, you know, needs it or if I have any good ideas because I really like all the gold and such. It it it's very pleasing to me. It's just it's really rich. It's like a really strong ice cream. And after building in it for too long, it's just like, well, uh, I can't take this anymore. But it's it's fun while it lasts and I, I really like how it looks. You know, I, I really enjoy the idea of a very rich sim living in this super extravagant house. It's just, you know. You know, now that I think about it, you could probably just live in the suite here. Like, you need to put stairs up to the door, because I kind of just leave it floating. But you could live in just this, this area, because it's got a bathroom, has a kitchen, has a bed. And there's a book bookcase if you want to read. There's not a TV in here. Hmm. Should I have put a TV in here? Maybe, maybe they enjoy the finer things in life, <laughs> and they just don't want to watch TV. Maybe they have their their 20-plus butlers come in and perform for them. <laughs> oh, I enjoy thinking about these sorts of things. It, it entertains me, because whenever I play, my sims get way too rich for me to ever like build a house for them, and it's mostly because I keep upgrading a normal house to, you know, like the first house their starter house into something which a starter house is never going to look like this when you know when you upgrade it like it's just not going to match in style it's going to be a whole nother house because really all i do is like add on to it i don't like go through and renovate it so yeah i guess renovate's not quite the word i was looking for there i don't change it like i don't change the rooms that are already in so much i kind of just upgrade one room at a time and it's like, okay, we have a good living room and my bed happens to be in it. Let me make a bedroom. And like I'll move the rooms around. But I won't I won't like change change them or like change the style, which I feel like you need to change the style if you wanted a house to look like this. You know, a starter house to eventually look like this. Yeah. Like, here's the thing. The sixty four by sixty four lots, I I don't know, sometimes they feel really big. This build they felt really small. 
Because, like, I was, I was building, and I'm like, wow, I'm taking up, like, a whole quarter of this lot. And this is just, like, a master suite. So, you know, if you have, you know, a library, giant living room, giant dining room, you know, all the fancy mansion things, they're not going to fit on this lot. Which, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I guess it's a really big, I mean, it's obviously a really big, you know, bedroom. I don't know. Because, like, what? I feel, I feel like the lot would be too small to build the entire mansion this is supposed to go with. You know, that's, that's how I'm feeling right now. You know, maybe once I try it, I'm like, oh no, it's fine. This is just taking up a lot of, a lot of space. Or maybe this is like on the third floor or something. I mean, if you're that rich, you wouldn't want to walk up three flights of stairs. You'd probably have an elevator in your house. And then you just have your, you know, 20 plus butlers carry you upstairs. Anyway, I remember these things. They were a pain in the butt to move, though. These little rug things, because, like, it doesn't register the middle of them as... Like, part of them, and, you know, sizing things up makes them hard to grab as it is. So it was just like, I can't get it. Yeah, I was having a hard time because the, I was trying to layer the rugs so I could get them to line up, and it just wasn't working, and I was like, please work. And I was like, no. So I struggled. Eventually I just laid them over each other. It doesn't quite match if you look too closely, but I'm not going to look too closely. Anyway, in the middle here, because I was like, there's a lot of space still in this room, and I've run out of things to put here. So in the middle here, I put a fountain, because you need a fountain in your in your bedroom. I know, I have fish tanks, and there's a fall filter in there, and I know the sound of, like, water falling is really nice to fall asleep to. Um, not so much the aeration bubbles, I try to keep those lower. Yeah. I was looking for something to put here, and I was like, a fountain. And so, <laughs> I, I kind of go through all the fountains, and eventually I just go with that little one. It's... This whole thing is supposed to be, like, over the top, yes. Like, there's no doubt about that. But it's also supposed to be a bit modern. Like, it's not supposed to look old-fashioned or anything like that. Like, obviously there's old-fashioned things, but it's supposed to still be, you know, the sort of thing that is modern. I thought about actually putting the that futuristic sleeping pod in somewhere and having, like, a separate room for the sleeping pods and be like, the bed's for show. Really, I just sleep in the sleeping pod. But I, I don't know. The sleeping pods are weird. Like, I figure if I were to have millions and millions and billions of dollars, I don't think I'd want to sleep in a little tube, you know? Just, maybe that's per personal reference, because, like, I want to, like, stretch out and, you know, cut up with all my blankets and all that. I just, I don't think, I don't know, maybe if you're that rich, you don't want to waste your time and those get your energy up faster because it's The Sims. Except a really good bed will do that, too. Anyway, we were onto this room. I thought about putting some books on the sofa there, but they didn't quite line up like I wanted them to, so I, I did not. I do end up replacing that dresser there with a vanity, because I remember I didn't put a vanity in the bathroom. And so I put a vanity in this closet here, and then I move the the dressers over the other side. Uh, that chair, that chair is a throne. <laughs> like, I am, I am impressed by that chair. Anyway, I think we're actually getting kind of close to the end. Yeah, I think I just need to do... What am I doing here? I think it's mostly just the foyer at this point. Oh yeah, I, I forgot about this. I, I made sure to add in lots of the uh, to topiaries. I, I always see words and I'm like, I know how to pronounce that. And then I try to say it and it's like, no, I don't. Yeah. But yeah, I'm adding in another cart. I put some fruit on it. I figured it'd be pretty luxurious to lounge out on that couch and eat some, I don't know, grapes. Oh, we're on to screenshots. So yeah, there's the foyer. There's the closet, that vanity there. There's the, the fruit bowl that I was just talking about. And then this is the bedroom. And yeah, it looks kind of empty, but I think it'd be nice to have like a big open room like that. Plenty of room to walk around. There's that giant fireplace, which is a giant fireplace. This little, I don't know, study corner if you're just up late and want to read. Anyway, we're getting pretty close to the end. So I'm going to do my sign off. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, remember to subscribe, and go get some sunshine. I'll see you next time.